In this installment, I will discuss brain tumors. A brain tumor is an abnormal growth of cells that occurs in the brain. Brain tumors, like other tumors, can be benign or malignant. Malignant tumors grow much more rapidly than benign tumors and frequently spread into surrounding brain tissue, whereas benign tumors tend to grow slowly and do not typically spread. Only malignant tumors are considered cancerous, but a benign brain tumor can still be problematic as its growth can impact neighboring brain tissue. If a brain tumor begins in the brain, it's called a primary brain tumor. If it spreads to the brain from some other location, it's known as a secondary brain tumor. The symptoms of brain tumors vary depending on what part of the brain is impacted and thus from case to case, but some common symptoms include headache, nausea and vomiting, sensory disturbances like blurred vision, loss of balance, confusion, changes in personality, and seizures. There are over 120 different types of brain tumors, so I'll only discuss a few of the more common types here. Gliomas are a category of brain tumor that begins in the glial cells. The most common glioma is astrocytoma, which arises from glial cells called astrocytes. One example of an astrocytoma is low-grade astrocytoma, which indicates a slow-growing tumor that is usually benign. Another example, however, is glioblastoma multiform, which is a highly malignant tumor that grows rapidly and spreads. Meningiomas are the most common primary brain tumor. Meningiomas form in the meninges and are usually benign. Medulloblastoma is the most common type of malignant tumor in children. Medulloblastomas typically begin near the fourth ventricle, between the brainstem and the cerebellum. Hi all, I am Dr. Nilena and I am doing post-graduation in practice of medicine. So today we are going to discuss about brain tumors. So what are brain tumors? The tumors that arises from the intracranial tissues. It can be either from the cells within the brain or from the meningeal covering. And these brain tumors can be generally classified into benign and malignant variety. Benign means they are the non-cancerous form. But in the future, there is a chance for them to convert into the cancerous form. And we all know that brain is a well-differentiated organ and it lies within a closed cavity. So when an abnormal tissue arises from the brain, it will cause an increase in the intracranial tension and it also causes compression of the neurons adjacent to its lesion. So these two features are mainly causing the symptomatology in the patient. The patient may present with severe headache, there will be vomiting and there will be seizures that is the fits will develop in the patient. It may be in the first time, that is in his lifetime, it may be firstly he will be developing these seizures. And due to this neurological compression, the patient may also develop symptoms like blurring of vision or loss of vision. There will be hearing defects, some speech abnormalities. And when the when these lesions appear or this tumor appears in the frontal lobe, it can even produce some personality changes in the body as well as it can produce loss of memory. When larger neurons are compressed, it can even lead to paralysis of the body. So all these symptoms, it depends upon the site of the lesion as well as the character of that tumor. And again, we can classify or grade these tumors from grade 1 to grade 4 according to the severity of the symptoms. And in grade 1, they are the most silent variety and grade 4, the most aggressive. And according to this grading, we are determining what treatment should be given to the patient. And finally, we can diagnose the case with the help of these symptoms and along with some special investigations like CT and MRI, which help to differentiate the tumor, whether it is benign or malignant. And further, there will be in some tumors, there will be metastatic spread to other parts of the body. So it can be detected with the help of investigations like PET scan, a lumbar puncture or a myelogram. And finally, the brain tumors not only affect the patient physically, but it also affects the patient mentally, financially and socially also. So the management of all these effects should be done that such a management is called a palliative care or a supportive care. So the supportive care along with this medicinal management should be required for the patients and for them to bring back to their life. 
A brain tumor is a condition of abnormal growth of cells within any part of the brain when the body doesn't require that. Based on the intensity of growth, brain tumors are mainly classified into two types, benign and malignant. A brain tumor can be a life-threatening disease but completely curable through early diagnosis. Are you wondering what causes brain tumors? Several research have been conducted to remind the exact cause of brain tumors. It is caused by the cellular multiplication. Radiation, obesity, family history, past cancers, explosion of chemicals are the main reason for brain tumors. Brain tumors are uncommon but not rare. They occur partially in the young and in the middle age. A brain tumor is a massive growth of cancerous or non-cancerous abnormal cells in the brain. A tumor can start in the brain or cancer elsewhere in the body can spread to the brain. Form in different areas, develop from different cell types and may have different treatment options. I am going to tell about the symptoms of brain tumor, the change in the pattern of headache. Headache may be more severe or more frequent. Loss of memory, vision problems such as blurred vision and double vision. Unexplained nausea or vomiting, hearing problems, seizures, confusion in everyday matters, personality or, or behavioral changes. Difficulty with balance, uh, speech difficulties, uh, gradual loss of sensation or movement in the arm or a leg. Uh, confusion in the personality or behavioral changes. So let one not get a brain tumor. Thank you. After diagnosis, if it is found that the tumor is benign, then depending upon characteristics, it is completely removed or leave it to preserve certain nerves and carry out medication as treatment. If it is malignant tumor, the treatment requires a holistic approach which might include surgery, radiotherapy with chemotherapy, radiotherapy without chemotherapy.